Hi there, my name's John from Toby Dynavox and I'm here to show you in this video the impressive email functionality of Communicator 5. Now obviously with the Toby Eye Tracker you do have access to um, excellent Windows control functionality which will allow you to access desktop email tools such as Outlook or web-based email tools such as Gmail. However, sometimes it is nice to work within the safe confines of your communication system for accessing your emails. And then, you know, you've got things like nice big buttons for easy targeting and your emails will be fully accessible regardless of your access method, be that touch, eye gaze or switch. So let's have a look how the emails work. So I'm going to, from my homepage, look at the email icon because I'm using iGaze at the moment. I can look at send and receive to see if I have any new emails. I uh, don't think I've got any at the moment, but I do have previously received emails that I'm quite interested in having a look at. You'll see that there are paper clips next to these two emails, uh, and that means that they have attachments. That's one of the really impressive functions of the email tool within Communicator. It's able to deal with all kinds of attachments for viewing, for saving, and for sending to other people through a fully accessible uh, file browser, which allows you access to all of your Windows files for dealing with attachments. So let's have a look at this photo. I can go to attachments and you'll see I can save or open. In this instance, I'm going to open. It will open up the Windows desktop and open up my Windows control. Um, so I've got normal functionality here, so I can just use Windows Control to hopefully save this. I'm going to close this, sorry. Um, when I'm ready, I can look at the little button on the bottom corner of my screen, and that will return me back to Communicator. So that was the picture, but just to illustrate, I can work with any attachment type. If I go into my Attachments folder now, You'll see again, I can save a Word document or open it. So let's open that. And you'll see I've got a really important report to read. Now I can use my standard Windows control functionality to do anything, or I can just return back to Communicator. I will close this though. And return back to Communicator by looking at the icon at the bottom. Now let's imagine that I want to save that email. So again, I look at attachments. And instead of open, I'm going to look at save. and I'm going to save it to my computer. Now here you'll see I've got a fully accessible uh, Windows browser. So I'm going to look for my reports folder. And we'll see that's there. I select that folder and then look at the tick and then that will save it. Now let's imagine I wanted to send that report maybe after I've edited it to somebody else. So I can close my attachments, start a new email. In this instance, I'm going to pick one of my colleagues to send an email to. So I'm going to go to my contacts and choose my colleague Rob. Uh, say that I'm done with choosing recipients. And then in the subject, I'm just going to type report. I'm not going to put any text in the body, but I am going to look at my attachments and look at add. And once again, you'll see I've got a fully accessible Windows browser for viewing where I might find an attachment. And I'm going to look for my reports folder. You'll see I've got one file in there. I look at it and then tick. That's now attached and just close that and look at send now. So hopefully that's going to send to my colleague Rob and check for new emails. So that's the email tool and the way it handles attachments within Communicator 5. Do more with Communicator 5.